violence has become part of the daily rhythm of life for Iraqis. This is Sabrina Savernisi from the New York Times in Baghdad. Hala is a 16-year-old high school student, and she was kidnapped on April 15th for just a day. Kidnappings are fairly common among people of any type of means at all. The kidnappers confused her with somebody else in the neighborhood and eventually returned her after giving her a hard time beating her up, putting handcuffs on her. But when she came back, she actually hasn't left the house since being returned to her home. She hasn't gone out for a haircut, for shopping, for anything. She no longer goes to school, and she has teachers come and give her lessons. Asir Haddad is a university professor. He teaches banking. His wife was very active for women's rights, and she was assassinated in the execution style with four gunmen while she was sitting in a traffic jam. And Mr. Haddad developed habits in how he gets around town, how he drives. He's very, very nervous behind the wheel. He brings little pieces of the newspaper that he reads to calm himself down, always watches in the mirror and stops if he thinks he sees a suspicious car. Ola Kose Ali is a 12-year-old girl. She's in a secondary school in central Baghdad. She and her sister, who is six, are driven by a special driver that her parents hire at great expense to them. The driver drives the two girls to school every morning and picks them up in the afternoon and brings them home because it's considered too dangerous for them to take the bus. They don't move that far away, but it's not trustworthy. The streets are too dangerous for them to walk home. They haven't been able to play outside since the beginning of last year. They no longer can play. It's just a rocky game of something like hopscotch that everybody plays here. Young girls play. It's called Tuki, and they can't play it anymore. And that's some of the ways that it's affected their lives. For the New York Times, this is Sabrina Tyrone, in Baghdad.